Well, 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 what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. It's been a little while. I hope everyone had a great Christmas and also a very happy new year. There hasn't been much going on. It's winter time, content slows down a little bit. Today is absolutely crappy. We're getting our first like real snow. And I was just pretty much caught stuck in the S65 in this weather, which happened like over in half an hour. When I left the crib today, this wasn't going on. There wasn't a snowflake on the ground and I did get stuck, but I managed to get home. It doesn't look like much, but when it's falling quickly, they don't have time to plow the roads or do the salting. And you have a rear wheel drive car with summer tires. It doesn't take much to get stuck. So I, I was just out driving, doing some errands and stuff and uh, it took me forever to get home. <laughs> So this is uh, pretty much the first time it's snowing for real this winter in Pittsburgh and it's the first time that I'm driving this car in the snow and um, yeah it wasn't going so well leading up to this green light. I almost, uh, I, I, it was lucky that I was first in, in line, see it's, it's sliding <laughs> because the, the brakes, the car was just, it wouldn't stop. I managed to stop it of course, I can hardly apply any gas these freaking tires in the snow um, and I'm supposed to take this on a long ass road trip in a few weeks hopefully it's not snowing like this yeah and we're going up a hill here hopefully I don't get stuck I don't want that green light to turn red and I can't really apply a lot of gas because I won't go anywhere come on come on come on come on, <laughs> come on I don't want to get stuck in this red light in the hill oh thank god Come on, baby. If we just make it up this freaking hill. Oh, thank God. Thank God. See, it's, it's sliding. I'm gonna explain as soon as we get back to the crib here why I'm not driving the RS7 that has all wheel drive. But yeah, I, I, you know, when I, I left the house, it wasn't snowing. This happened now within half an hour. Yeah, it, it, it'll change quickly. I'm actually gonna have to take a, a detour home because I have to go down a super steep hill uh, on the current route that I'm at. And then I have to go up a super steep hill to get to where I live because it's literally up on a mountain. And they haven't really salted the roads yet. You know, I mean, I hate salt, but sometimes you actually need it, especially when they haven't plowed any of it yet. <laughs> it's literally the only time you'll see me going eight miles an hour. And you might think that I'm overreacting, but trust me, if, if I'm going too quickly and I, for some reason, have to hit the brakes like harder, which you do in normal driving conditions and it's no problem, but in this weather with my tires, the car just doesn't stop, it just keeps on gliding and we're going downhill here. So I, I'm driving like a responsible citizen here. Maybe it's not very responsible to be driving this car in this weather, but again, I didn't know we were gonna have this weather. Oh dude, look at this SUV. It's like sliding backwards. Look at the Yukon over here. Look at it, sliding. Dude, look at that. The poor guy. He's sliding. So even a Yukon with obviously four wheel drive or all wheel drive or whatever, can't even get up that hill right there because it's so damn slippery outside. And there's cars stuck like up there. They're like, yeah, hell no. I'm not even trying to get down this hill. <laughs> and this isn't even a lot of snow. It's just that I think a lot of people still have um, summer tires like me. Everyone is driving super slow. It's going to take forever to get back to the crib. See, I have like a, a Cherokee next to me here. That's obviously all wheel drive. He's still driving super slow. Same speed as me. All right, so I think luckily during this long ass uphill, I managed to get uh, a plow truck. Yeah, but see now it's slowing down. I gotta keep speed here, otherwise I'll get stuck. Yeah, and there's people stuck up there. This is not good. I cannot get stuck sitting still uphill because then I'll never yeah, see it's starting to spin already. There's a cop there. Oh shit. Shut 
Shut up. People are stuck here. It's gonna be a damn miracle if I get up here. Rear wheel drive, summer tires. And freaking all wheel drive cars. See that Honda Civic, obviously front wheel drive. Come on, baby, come on. God, it's freaking nerve wracking. I think I'm gonna make it up this hill. Uh oh, see? Okay, now we got another hill left. Yeah, dude, you stay put. Go, it's green. Go, go. <sighs> yeah, see, now I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm stuck. I got a big old bus behind me too. I gotta go in and turn off traction control. All right, so I managed to get traction control off, and right when I like make it up the little hump, this guy pulls up in front of me, does a U-turn, and is driving super slow. I need to get some speed to get up here, dude. Go! I swear to God, people, man, they're so dumb. So I have like this last hill up here, and I'm like sitting and waiting, because I gotta try to get some momentum to get up here which is gonna be hard to see. This dude up here in the Civic, yeah, see, he's getting stuck up there. Way up there. And there's no other way to get to my crib. Good thing is that I'm not far away from where I live, and technically I could walk home. I'm not stuck like in the middle of nowhere, but uh, yeah, see, now this little Prius is pulling out. He's not gonna get anywhere. Oh, fuck. Me. Get out of the way, dude. Get out of the way. I'm gonna have to run this red light to get some speed. Sorry. See, we're just sliding. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Last hill. Come on, baby. <laughs> we're gonna make it. Oh, I cannot f believe it. Running the stop sign. Forget that. I'm not getting stuck, stuck in a hill. Oh my God, we're gonna make it home. We're gonna make it. We're gonna. <laughs> but first I gotta be really careful going down this hill so we don't see I could be sliding right into that dude right over there unless I'm going and what are we going four miles an hour dude this is nuts so I'm in my driveway Whoop, and this is where I get stuck <laughs> can you believe it at least I'm in my driveway I gotta get in there please 
Oh, dude, I almost slid right into that pole. Honestly, I can't believe that I got home. If, if you know anything about Pittsburgh, it's hills everywhere. And when it's newly fallen snow and they haven't really plowed it yet, it gets stuck to the tires and it's just slippery. It's rear wheel drive, summer tires. But, oh, man, I am so happy I made it home. I mean, it was freaking nerve wracking. I don't want to get stuck in a hill somewhere. It's snowing and stuff. You got to get towed and it's freaking embarrassing. Everyone's like, why is this idiot out driving this rear wheel drive car? It wasn't snowing like this. It wasn't snowing at all when I left. As you guys can see from this dash cam footage, it just happened. And this is what worries me about going on a road trip in this car in the winter time. What if I get stuck in like the middle of bump nowhere? You know what I mean? But uh, I guess we'll just kind of have to find out. And this is also why uh, the R7 didn't make it out earlier because there's a lot of construction going on in the top unit. Took a quick peek at, but I didn't want to move all their stuff. So I just took the bends because I didn't know it was going to snow like this. But yeah, I'm <laughs> just glad I made it home. So yeah, like I said, it's not all that much snow, but it's just bad weather conditions. You can't even see the city. So we uh, got the worst off the deck here at least. And now the fogginess is letting up a little bit. So now you can see the city and highest field. I mean, Acrisure Stadium and PNC Park over there. Dumbest name ever, Acrisure. So while editing this video, I had no plans of titling it in any way about like frustration or anything. But while I'm editing and listening to myself, you know, I can, I, I can make fun of it after the fact. Um, because it's kind of funny to, to listen to how frustrated uh, I was during the video. Um, I do have certain problems uh, when it's in traffic and certain drivers and so on. I don't have a lot of patience. So I'm definitely at my most frustrated while I'm behind the wheel of a car. But I have noticed that, you know, these past couple months here, um, on, on a serious note, I've uh, had a tendency to be more frustrated in general, you know, because of everything that's been going on. I've covered in other videos and that's no one's fault but my own and it's definitely something that I have to work on um, I get in my head too much and it affects everything around me you know this is my channel this is my livelihood and it affects, affects me in terms of making content and so on so while I kind of make light of myself in the video you know with the little annotations and stuff when I'm like cussing and you know stupid Prius drivers all that stuff it is something that I have to work on um, and uh, yeah no one can do that but me so I am working on that just letting you guys know and while the uploads have been kind of scarce on this main channel I have been doing more uploads on the main channel on the personal channel I mean so if you guys aren't subscribed to my personal channel yet I'll link it in the description if you guys want to check it out so you know while you don't see videos here sometimes there'll be new uploads on the personal channel they don't involve cars though just so you know that's why it's a personal channel. But this is, you know, still the main channel. This is where I should be uploading the most. And I promise you guys that I'm working on some really good content. So uh, I mentioned earlier in the video that uh, I'm about to go on a long road trip. I, I do have second thoughts or some worries about that because of it being winter. I don't want to get stuck, you know, in the middle of nowhere with this car. If everything goes the way that I planned, it's going to be close to 3,000 miles. So we're going to go from here. Tennessee, down to Florida, down to possibly central Florida, back up again and stuff. And you never know what can happen, even in the central states like Tennessee and Kentucky. And, you know, you can hit some, some bad winter storms there, and I just don't want to. But enough babbling about that. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.